Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinema photographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, today is part three of the Myers Makes Brilliant Lime Green, color code 21P, uh, built. We are drilling a hole in the center of the hood. I'll show you how we're gonna measure it. We're also gonna be modifying the gas tank, getting this put in here so we can measure exactly where the filler neck's gonna be. This is all something you're interested in. Let's get started. This is how I'm gonna take the measurement for the gas filler flap that I'm gonna be putting smack in the center of the hood. So I'm not able to guess. What I've done is our yardstick goes from headlight pod to headlight pod. And then I put a couple of yardsticks into place. And what I'm gonna do is measure. It looks like at about 10 inches, between nine and 10 inches is a good place where I'm gonna put my filler neck. Okay, so the hood's gonna have to be drilled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, put the hood back on and run a tape line from headlight pod to headlight pod and another ta tape line right up the middle at 18 inches and take that to about 10 inches and we'll figure out exactly where we're gonna try and put this hole. Let me set the next shot up. Okay, with three yardsticks in place, got my measurements figured out about approximately how far up is gonna, I'm gonna drill to put the gas flap into place. Now I'm gonna transfer these measurements onto my hood. Okay, and it looks like that is where my center hole is gonna be for the gas flap. It'll be a little enlarged so we can move it around a little bit and get that perfect adjustment to it. But until then, it's time to mark it and drill it. All right, I guess the time comes where you can only measure it so many times until you figure out exactly where you're going to put this. So comparing this to another buggy, what we did is we took it from the windshield frame 22, half, 22 and a half inches on center. And then we will be putting a two inch hole in here to accept the filler cap. So here goes, shade and all. We are through successfully. Let's see if we could take a closer look. Okay, with the hole drilled, I've kind of pulled into the shade here. You can see that I taped off the top of the gas tank with some blue tape. I'm just going to insert this pipe straight up and down right there. And then I'm going to crawl in there and mark my spot on where we will be mounting the new filler neck. And as you can see, we have a circle drawn on our tape. All right, let's take this hood off again. With the hood off and pushed back into the sun where it's nice and warm, you can see I continued the circle and this is where the hole will be drilled with the filler neck. The old filler neck has been removed, welded up. I'm gonna grind it off and paint it, make it look nice. We put the vent hose here, which I will just run and drop down anywhere. The 
cap we're going to be putting on the outside of the hood is vented, but from what I understand, they do clog up. So I'm going to make sure I have two vents in here. All right, so let's get started. You can see what I'm going to do here. We're going to cut off just about two inches and weld it into place there. So it'll have enough, just enough for a hose connection and a hose clamp. I don't know why this gives me so much joy and scares me so much at the same time. Okay, you might be asking, hey, Filet, why are you drilling all these holes into your brand new doom buggy body? The hood is going to be mounted into place before I get my electrical system delivered. So to put the harness in, I might as well just get all the holes drilled in it now. This will be the hole for the right side turn signal. pilot hole for the headlight. Last couple of holes I drilled here are for the gas tank mounts. So the gas tank's ready to go. Headlights are drilled. All right, let's start working on the tank. The fuel tank is out of the lime green Myers Manx and we're getting ready to do a little surgery on it. Stay tuned. All right, and here we have it. We are ready to go. Like I said, we've left this a little long because we don't know, know where it's going to go. We're going to home clean this up, paint it a little bit, and we're going to test fit it and bring it right back to you. So hang on, we'll be back. All right, let's put the hood on here and see how it fits before we bolt it into place. And here we go, perfect fit. Let's see if I can get the shade, there we go. Now let's see how the gas flap fits on there. Okay, here we go from underneath. It looks like we're gonna have to probably trim another inch or so off of the pipe, but I'm waiting for the Amazon driver who is gonna be delivering my gas flap. And what we'll do is we'll set that in here and take a measurement and see 
exactly how much we need to trim off. Okay, took a little clearancing out of the hole, but we've got it so it'll fit. So now we're gonna climb underneath and see if we can take a measurement on how far that sits down there. All right, this is how far it's protruding from the hood. So let's see if we can get a ruler in here. I can't see that far, but I'll look at the play bed. It looked like it's just about an inch. And we know the tank sits about a quarter of an inch from the top, so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an inch off of here and the rest will all be hose spliced together with hose clamps. Okay, and here we are. Gas flap is in place. I find it to be nice and straight. Looks good, I'm happy with the results. As far as connecting the two together, that will be in the next video when I start bolting the hood and putting the windshield on. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can follow me on this journey. And you can find me on Instagram at Filet TV channel. Thanks for watching, Filet TV. Ciao.